Oh, well, hello. This is Tak Chung from Walk with Tak. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, uh, please like, subscribe, and share. Uh, please feel free to write to me at walkwithtak@gmail.com. If you have any question regarding to this video or any other videos that I have posted in the past, if you have any videos you would like me to make, please let me know. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Home walking is most fun when you're able to do it spontaneously as well as intuitively. And the nice thing about that is that you can walk into the kitchen and look at what you have in the refrigerator and cook whatever you want, or uh, you can decide what you would like for that evening. Uh, this is a good example of using the fast cooking system, which is favor chasing, advanced prepping, stir frying, and tempeh based cooking uh, to cook a fried rice. Now, this fried rice uh, is based on what I have available as well as what I feel like to have that evening. So it's a combination of both. Of course, it is no recipe. It is entirely based on a template-based cooking. Now, one of the things that most important about fried rice is that you need to have some eggs. Now, in this particular fried rice, I'm cooked the egg differently from what I have done in the past. It's based on a request from my wife, and she told me that she liked to have the egg more uh, intact. In other words, she would like to taste the egg in the fried rice. In the past, uh, the eggs are pretty much blend into the fried rice, and you really cannot taste it distinctively. So I thought about what is the best approach to solve this particular problem and meet her request, and decided the best thing for me to do is to fry the egg in such a way that I do not stir fry the egg together with the fried rice. Instead of I will add the egg toward the end. Now the reason is very simple. So in this case, uh, I will not break up the egg during the process when I stir fry the fried rice. So in this case, what I will do is that I will fry the egg first, and then I will break up the egg into pieces, which is large enough that she can taste it, but small enough that it will blend into the fried rice. So using this method, uh, this is a variation what I have done in the past. In the past, I used to stir fry the egg first, as what I'm doing right here, and then I add the rice to the egg, and then I stir fry everything together. And when I use this approach, the, the situation is that the rice will really blend into the egg. Now, the second change is a, a change that I prefer that particular evening. I decided I like to have a fried rice that with the rice kernel more distinct and separate from each other. In other words, I like the rice kernel as dry as possible. Now, there is a type of fried rice which mainly make in India and Pakistan, and uh, their rice actually they do not use eggs. But most of the time, the most distinctive characteristic of their rice is that the rice is very distinct and separate from each other. Now, this is the kind of rice that's very popular uh, in India and in Pakistan. This rice is referred to as basmati rice. Now, the basmati rice is a variation of rice. As you probably all know, there are many different kinds of rice, and different type of rice can be characteristic by the length of the kernel. Of course, we have short grain rice, which are used in Japanese cooking, and then we have long grain rice, like such as jasmine rice, that used mainly in Chinese cooking. And then we have this basmati rice. If you look at the kernel of the basmati rice, you can tell it is really long, and this is a distinct characteristic of basmati rice. And because of this long kernel, they tend to absorb less water. So consequently, uh, you will find that they separate from each other readily. As you can see in here, it takes me very little time and effort to actually break up the rice. Now the next thing I want to do is that I will cut it based on what I have available. Uh, about uh, several days ago, I make some char siu, and I have some left. And uh, char siu fried rice is a very popular fried rice in the southern part of China because char siu is uh, often referred to as uh, Cantonese barbecue pork. And char siu fried rice is one of the most popular fried rice in Hong Kong as well as uh, in the southern part of China. So I have some char siu, and I decided I'm going to cook the char siu in this particular fried rice. Now the char siu is very uh, nice for a fried rice because the char siu has great flavor, and the char siu also come with a, a light sauce. So it will allow you uh, to combine the sauce with the rice. Now again, this is a demonstration. Basically, I cook this out of uh, 
spontaneity because I happen to have some char siu available. And this is actually is the foundation of template-based cooking. You can make substitutions. In here, of course, instead of using char siu, uh, you, you can use any other type of meat. So if you have some chicken that you uh, either left over or you cook it specifically, all you have to do is to cut it up into pieces so it can blend into the fried rice. And next, I'm going to add some vegetables. Uh, again, this is really just up to what I have in the refrigerator. I have some uh, red cabbage, and then I also have some portobello mushroom uh, because I already have them in my advanced prepping. All I need to do is to find them. Now the portobello mushroom, I cut them into thin slices. All I need to do is to chop them up into smaller pieces so that they will fit well uh, into the fried rice. Now at this point, whatever ingredients that you're going to add, uh, when it comes to fried rice, you want to make sure the ingredients are cut into the size that fits the fried rice. And also, uh, if the ingredients is to cut in smaller pieces, it allows you to cook them much faster. And this is definitely it's a distinct advantage. And this is the advanced prepping portion of the fast cooking system that will allow you uh, to use whatever ingredients that you have. And with advanced prepping, uh, you are ready to cook any time you want. Now, to season this dish, I originally seasoned the dish with my wok with tart basic seasoning mix with the egg. After the taste test, I decided I would season it further uh, with my seasoning mix. Now, the wok with tart basic seasoning mix uh, is rich in umami flavor. And so uh, it provides the dish a nice umami flavor, but not too salty. And so this way, uh, you can actually taste all the ingredients in the dish. And ultimately, the best flavor of the dish is the natural ingredients. So as you can see, this is the final step. I add the egg to the fried rice. Now, you notice that the eggs are in big chunks because uh, I add them toward the end. If I have uh, uh, cook the egg together with fried rice, they will break up into much smaller pieces because of the continuing uh, stirring. Okay, now the dish is almost done. The last but final step, I'm going to add some fresh scallions. I always have scallions on hand, and scallion is an excellent substitute for onions. And I normally do not cook with onion uh, because onion takes a much longer time to cook. With scallions, it is much easier uh, for you to add onion flavor to the dish, uh, particularly if you add the scallion toward the end, it will really allow the onion flavor to stand out. So it is done. And as you can see, this dish is very, very fast to cook. And uh, at the end, I just do a little bit more taste testing, make sure this is the flavor that I'm looking for. At this point, you can add additional uh, change for example, I add a little bit more salt uh, because um, I'm cooking this um, dish for my son and he likes foods a little bit more saltier than I do. So this is the flavor chasing part, allow you to make all kinds of changes. Now you notice that in this dish, I did not add any sort of a fluid to the dish. I did not add soy sauce, I did not add oyster sauce. Again, this is a personal preference. I like my fried rice to be nice and crisp. And if you want your fried rice to be crisp, you should avoid adding any type of a fluid to it uh, because this way will allow you to have the type of uh, dryness. Because if it's too wet, then it will not allow the rice to be fried properly. Now this, again, uh, entirely up to you. And this is the nice part of uh, home cooking. It's because you will not be able to go out and have somebody cook a fried rice like this for you. Uh, even you go to the best restaurant, they have their own way to cook it. And you just have to go with the way how they decide that is the best. But when you do home cooking, you can make any adjustment, any changes, anything that you would like. And the end result is that you're able to tailor it exactly how you like it. Well, my wife really loves the fried rice uh, because of the egg. She enjoy the big egg pieces that will allow her to really get a flavor of the egg and she really like fried eggs like this. Okay, so this is the way how you make adjustments and using the different aspects of the fast cooking system. I post a video each day to help you to make home cooking as part of your daily routine. 
uh, so that you can make home cooking practical, efficient, creative, and fun. If you'd like to learn more about my fast cooking system, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. So keep on cooking, and I will see you tomorrow.